I'm Ian Cross from Swimming Without Stress with a case study on Alice and a physiotherapist who came for some lessons um, to feel more confident about swimming. She's a breaststroke, head up swimmer, um, afraid really to put her face in the water. This is her before any lessons, nine strokes per length. This is her after doing just two strokes per length, really enjoying the glide and most importantly not straining her neck and back and not anxious about the breathing. Now, this is how we did it. The first thing was to get a breathing in the water, happy breathing in the water, and once she was able to do that, to see how well she could float. You can see this takes time, and progressively here she's letting go more and more. She's allowing the water to support her head more and more. As she does this, her breathing improves. We, we spent a good couple of lessons really for getting her to free her neck and really give herself to the water so the water's supporting her without her doing anything and notice that the the better she becomes at this the, the easier she regains her feet and there she's just adding a movement a breaststroke kick and adding the breaststroke arms thinking about pointing the arms where she wants to go something that's difficult if she doesn't relax her neck so we did a lot of work on that remember to relax your neck as you move your arms and legs. Here she's starting to coordinate the arms and legs. The timing of the arms and legs means that the arms point as the legs kick to create a glide. She's not creating quite enough of a glide yet so we're not really ready to move on to the breathing. She has got good timing of the arms and legs but she just needs to glide a little bit more. Her arms are still a bit tense. We worked a lot on that. lovely kick her kick was good anyway there she's doing a good job of keeping her neck free her arms nice and loose as she moves with the legs arms legs glide still she wants to do another little movement with her arms she's not quite content just to glide and that's the main challenge really in learning a decent breaststroke here she's just starting to experiment with getting her head out to breathe not trying to sort of fit it into a perfect stroke yet, but just being able to swim with the head in, come out, have a breather, go back in. And here, we're starting to put the whole stroke together where she comes out to breathe, head goes in, points her arms, kicks and glides. At this stage, she's not directing herself well enough in the water, so she, her, her, she needs to direct her weight down into the water a bit more to, to, to sort of be a bit more commanding with her weight really give her weight to the water like she's doing there so we, 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 we go back to the glide when things aren't going as well as they could and we establish that idea of letting go giving your weight to the water she wobbles a little bit if she doesn't really give herself to the water now that's much better and she regains her feet beautifully because of that So here she's doing a length, I think. It's all a little bit careful at the moment. Yeah, that was a nice stroke, working on freeing the neck and doing the whole stroke. Still snatching her head out a little bit, but waiting nicely with her legs until she's got her head released back into the water. Regains her feet really nicely. You can see how at the beginning of the few lessons, Regaining the feet was a bit of a bit rushed, whereas after sort of three or four lessons, she's really got that idea of keeping her head free in the water until her feet are on the floor. Now this is probably one of the first lengths she did, and that's pretty good. And this is the on the last on the fourth on the fourth lesson, she's really now directing herself nicely through the water, freeing her neck, doing just a couple of strokes per the length of our pool.